Hello friends, welcome back to G Centric. So in this lecture, we will deal with the energy based problem. Okay, so we will move on to the first problem that is two bulb given 40 watt and 60 watt connected in series. Okay, so remember this term series to the main supply 200 volt and they have given four options bulb together consume 100 watt, bulb together consume 50 watt or 60 watt bulb glow brighter, brighter or 40 watt bulb glow sorry bulb glow brighter okay so in these four options we have to choose one for which the key term is series so basically in our home appliances whatever the bulbs we use we will use in the parallel connection so that is the practical application of the bulbs okay so we will never connect the bulbs in series that is because if one of the bulb glows out okay so if there is a blackout then whole of the series connected bulbs will be no, will not glow so that's why we will use the parallel connection okay so first we will find what is the concept behind parallel connection and then we will go on to the concept of series connection if there is a power supply of 200 volt and the two bulbs are connected in parallel okay so let this be bulb 1 which is of 60 watts and this is of bulb 2 40 watts okay so now voltage will be same 200 because they are in parallel now we will find the resistor values so r60 is nothing but v square upon p so v square is 200 whole square upon uh, power is 60 watts so the answer for this will be 666.66 ohms Next, similarly for R40, we have V square over R, sorry that is P, V square is 200 volt and we have 40 watts. So this comes out to be 1000 ohms, okay. So this is the resistor values for R40 and resistor value for R60. Now you see that value of R40 resistance is more than the R60 ohm, R60 watt bulb. That is because P is inversely proportional to 1 by R. So more the value of the resistor, less the power consumed. Because when the value of the resistance is high, then the current will not flow in that bulb or in that branch. It will take the least resistive path. Okay, so now directly in the parallel, we can directly add the power consumed by the bulbs. That is P is equal to P40 plus P60, 40 plus 60, which comes out to be 100 watt. It is only true for the parallel connection. Whereas in series, we cannot directly add this 100 watt. Okay, it's only for the parallel. So this first question and the second question is wrong. Okay. Now we are left with two options. We will see now the connection with the bulbs of in series connection. Okay, so the, when the bulbs are connected in series, that is 40 watt and 60 watt bulbs are connected in series. Now we have to find the I total current flowing in the circuit. Okay, so that we can find the power, uh, we can find the voltage across them. Now I total is nothing but total voltage in the circuit upon total resistance. So we already know the resistance across the 40 watt that is 1000 ohms and here we have got 666.6 ohms okay so now this will be 200 upon 1000 plus 666.66 which comes out to be 0 0.2 ampere so total current in the circuit is nothing but 0 0.12 amperes now when this is the condition, we can find the power consumed by each of the bulb, okay. So P40, P40 is nothing but I square R. We know the value of resistor, we know the value of current in the circuit. So 0 0.12 whole square into the resistor for thousand, uh, 40 watt bulb is 1000, okay, which comes out to be 14.4 watts, then for power. 60 watts we have got 0 0.12 into 666.6 .6, 
which comes out to be 9.6 watt so the, the you can see the difference in the power okay basically this this power will not be given if you want to calculate the power okay so now for our convenience we have taken the 40 watt and 60 watt so when you add them up you will get 24 watts in total so now you can see if you add directly we will get 100 watts but if you solve it separately you will get 24 watts now you can see that the power of 40 and the power of 60 this is less than this 60 watt bulb glows lesser than the 40 watt bulb that is because this has got the current in the circuit is same okay current in the circuit is same but the relation of the power is directly proportional to resistor so when the resistor is high the power will be also high okay so that is the concept now you can add it directly 14.4 plus 9.6 otherwise there is one more formula pt is equal to p1 p2 upon p1 plus p2 okay so this is the formula for calculating the total power when the two bulbs are connected in series okay so the our answer will be 40 watt bulb will glow brighter so in series whichever has got the less power will glow brighter whichever has got the high power will not glow brighter it will be comparatively less but in parallel it happens opposite so more the power more the brightness of the bulb okay so we will move on to the second question okay coming to the second problem we have we have, the question is an incandescent bulb is marked 40 watts and 240 volts so the rating of the bulb is given now if resistance at room temperature so whenever resistant at if the room temperature is not given then it will be always 26 degree celsius which is 120 ohm so at this temperature that is initial temperature they have given it as 120 ohm now the temperature coefficient is this much per degree centigrade then its on stand on state filament temperature in degree celsius is okay so we have to on state it is nothing but whenever immediately you switch on the bulb switch on the switch button press the switch button then immediately the bulb glows that have asked that temperature what will be it so that at that time the temperature will be very high okay so for calculating that value they have asked the value now what is the formula for calculating that it is nothing but our temperature will be at that particular instant and the resistance at the initial time will be equal to 1 plus alpha into delta t okay so this delta t is nothing but the temperature difference between the two temperatures okay so we do not know rt yet but we can calculate it okay so r naught they have given and 1 plus alpha this nothing but the temperature coefficient and this is nothing but the difference between the two temperatures so now r naught is 120 ohm so for r naught at 120 ohm we have got temperature as we will take this as t1 which is 26 degree celsius we need to find the value of t2 but for that we also don't know what is the r t but we have got the rating that is 40 watts and 240 volts so from that we can find v square upon p so v square is 240 whole square upon 40 so this answer comes out to be 1440 ohms okay so at this temperature what is the value of t2 so this is the one we need to find out okay so we know all the values we will substitute it so rt is 1440 r naught is 26 sorry 120 we have 1 plus coefficient of temperature is 4.5 into 10 power 3 t2 we do not know we have to find minus 26 so when you solve this t2 will come out to be 2470.44 degree celsius okay so this is the answer so you can see what is the temperature it is very high at the on state condition is 24770.44 in degree centigrade okay so this completes the problems on energy but in the next lecture we will take on few more based on this concept okay thank you